Hello and welcome to another episode of Nutmeg Notes by Tejali. Uh, today I'm going to share a side dish which is made out of brinjal. Um, it's a very simple recipe and it is well liked by everybody. You can make the same dish with potatoes as well. If you are the kind of person who doesn't cook much but wants to try something new, this is a great starting point. Uh, my kids love this so much that they make it themselves. Uh, along of course with the helper uh, when I'm not around. Um, it's few ingredients but uh, the end result is really delicious. So let's get started. Hi, so now let's go through the ingredients for our Vangyati cup. I have a big brinjal here. I have one and a half tablespoons of coriander seeds which I have coarsely crushed. Uh, I have about one tablespoon of red chili powder. Uh, this is Kashmiri chili powder, so it's going to give me color and less spice. Uh, salt and turmeric you can use as per your uh, choice. Uh, also, I'm going to use maybe five to six tablespoons of uh, rice flour and of course oil to fry. Uh, so, the uh, most important thing about this uh, uh, recipe is you do not add any water. So you just mix the four ingredients and apply this uh, liberally to all uh, the brinjal pieces. Uh, let them rest for five minutes. After that, you're gonna dab each slice in the rice flour and then fry it, shallow fry it uh, with a little bit of oil. So let's get started. So I'm back, I'm in my kitchen. Uh, the light is a little less, so I generally don't shoot here, but I wanted to show you how to fry this. Uh, so the, I have mixed all the four ingredients and uh, I have coated each and every piece of brinjal very nicely with the same. Uh, since it has salt, it's going to become a little moist, but that's great for us because uh, when we dab it in rice flour, the rice flour coats very well around it. Uh, it's going to be soft inside, but it's going to be very crispy on top and it's a great side dish with uh, dal and rice. Uh, so now I'm going to dab it in rice flour and start frying. So let's get started. So I have made a bed of rice flour over here in the same plate you can uh, make a bed and uh, a nicely coated brinjal slice I'm going to dab this rice flour on both the sides and uh, let's fry now. Make sure that every piece of brinjal is nicely coated with oil and it's not dry. So let them cook for about two to three minutes on each side and then they are ready to be eaten. I so literally it took me 10 minutes to make this uh, and our Wangya Zikap are ready. They are looking so crispy and delicious. Uh, they actually go well with any Indian food for that matter. It's a great side dish. Uh, it looks great on the dining table when you are inviting guests. You can do the same thing with the potatoes as well. Uh, so do give it a try and post pictures under this video. Uh, also please like, follow, subscribe to our Nutmeg Notes YouTube channel. See you next week. Bye-bye.